Hello everyone, today we will discuss the reporting parameters of Google Ad Manager and uh, we will discuss how this actually works in Google Ad Manager and we will strictly go to the Google Ad Manager reporting section go to the report there are already prepared reports which are already available in this section when you have to create new report then you have to go in new reports <laughs> if you want to uh, see a total add unit report then you can create an add unit report you can select dynamic custom or fixed custom is like day before yesterday day before today or fixed if you want to Suppose if you want to uh, generate a report from 1st August to 17th August, this you can create in dynamic. You can do in, uh, of today's, yesterday's, last 7 days, 30 days, 3 months. So, this is all uh, prefixed parameters available over here. But uh, there are various parameters like quarter to date, year to date, month to date, week to date last year last quarter last month so you can fetch report in any way you want so we will currently do do uh, like fetch report for first august to 17th august currency will remain usd because you are getting paid in usd mostly as of now i am not putting any filters in this it filters narrow report results where we select dimensions and then adding filters to restrict the results every dimension selected can be filtered reach reports you must select dimension before you can filter reach report reach report is generally for any line item not add exchange reports so here you can select add unit all levels if you want date wise report then you can select date and what all parameters you want if you want total unveiled impressions total impressions total clicks total average cpm total ctr total fill rate total ad request total unmatched ad requests ad exchange revenue ad server impressions So if we select all these and then run the report, here we get the report with all the parameters day wise and then you have to export the results if you want to filter it further. The report is exported. This is the report for the date range for 1st August to 17th August. And the report type is a historical report. You have to select historical and historical I will show you where it is mentioned. This report type is historical, reach, user message, add speed. You have to generally select historical report. So historical reports is data related to ad requests flowing through your ad manager network including linked ad exchange web properties so, and then you go here you see the report then you can filter the report as per your convenience if you want to see the highest revenue generating units then you can fetch the report accordingly or else any other report and you can 
see any other report here. So this is how the report is uh, generated for a particular filter. You can remove the filter. You can see the uh, report here. This is one of the kind of reports which we generate and on the basis of filter you can understand how these units work. I will tell you one thing more in this. Suppose we are generating this report and uh, then when you are putting the filter if you want to select add units by the name NM you can select add units by the name of nm and you can see the performance add unit wise the unfilled, unfilled impressions total impressions total clicks you can see how much unfilled which unit is generating so here you can see that one of the train list center unfilled impression is the highest you have to work upon that how to reduce the unfilled impressions because it is getting generally built by google in their monthly invoices <coughs> So this is one of the kind of reports which we generate for any kind of parameters. And coming to the next kind of report, we'll again go to report, new reports. I will select a last seven days report. And then if I want to search for a particular add unit by the name of IRGOV. Suppose all tags are made by the name of IRGOV. I will apply the same. I will create, select add unit all levels. I will not select date. I will do that for all seven days consolidated. Then I will select only add exchange revenue. If I want to see the revenue from that particular add unit or suppose keep it to total impressions only. I will run the report and here you can see all the elements by the name IRGOV and total impressions rendered by all the impressions is mentioned here. So this is the second kind of report where you are like adding a filter of add unit showing all units containing IRGOV. So here how you can create any filter if you want to select any unit then you can select it any of select irgov you will get the all the suggestions you can select one of them then apply and run the report this is how you then you can export the results in Excel and filter it accordingly as per your demand. Third one is if you want to uh, select any uh, like if you are selecting a uh, like containing NM any property containing NM you have to select contains you have to select NM apply so you are selecting all the units which has NM uh, mentioned in their tag and then if you want to select a yield partner then you have to select filter a yield partner if you want to select a particular yield partner suppose here i will select pomatic i will apply and then i will select yield group impressions here I will run the report. So here you can see I'm getting all the impressions over here. Eat group through permatic. Two filters I have made which add unit show child contains NM and the yield partner is any of permatic. There are various parameters available in this also. If you can see this is how many callouts they are getting if I am selecting callouts and uh, 
how many bits they have won, how many auctions they have won. And select it and run the um, report. You can see total impressions, total callouts. Total callouts is basically the total um, like ad request they are getting through OV and uh, yield group bids in auction and yield group one in auction. So the bid for like for this particular item six eighty eight seven seventy two impressions, but they want for two fifty seven three forty one impressions. So here you can see uh, how this thing actually works. This is another kind of report which you can do and then there are various other parameters also available add server add sense add exchange yield group so if i remove the filters then you can see how many parameters are available here there are various parameters available for total for add server so here add server impressions are the direct ads which you are running on your gam as well as the house ads which are running as a backfill house ads are generally your in-house product ads which are running as a backfill which reduce the unfilled impressions and then you have ad exchange impressions which are impressions rendered by a google ad exchange and then adsense backfill impressions and uh, then you have yield group where your ad network partners like pomatic inmobi index exchange open exchange all are added so you can fetch all these parameters the yield group impressions estimated revenue cpm call outs yield group successful responses yield group bids yield group bids in auction yield group auctions won mediation fill rate mediation pass back mediation third party if they are on mediation then you can get all this data however many uh, partners have uh, moved away from mediation uh, if there is any uh, you know sdk based uh, integration so then uh, this these parameters of reports are also available and this is for video viewership if you have video ad inventories dedicated video ad inventories available then you can select all these parameters for video interaction and video optimization video errors so here there are various parameters available where dynamic allocation opportunity is available how inventory is competing in dynamic how compare total impressions with eligible impressions and identify missed ad exchange opportunities by locating inventory that could be competing on ad exchange or ad sales so all this works see how this works if i am selecting contains and then selecting units with nm and i see impressions competing eligible impressions impressions not competing i will not select hill group here okay then we get location saturation rate telling me max rate unfilled competing impressions if i am running this i see that the to these are total impressions for a particular inventory impressions competing so here you can see 35 lakh impressions are there for a period of 7 days and then impressions competing are 23 lakhs eligible impressions are 31 lakhs and impression not competing are 7 lakh 60000 where you are losing 7 lakh 60000 impressions impression not competing percentage is 24.23% then dynamic allocation saturation rate is 75.77% So it is actually dynamic allocation saturation rate is total number of dynamic allocation queries sent to ad exchange over the total number of eligible queries. To increase the value of ad exchange and dynamic allocation, the saturation rate should be as close to as hundred percent. So here you, we are losing twenty five percent, which is not a good thing. But a dynamic allocation match rate is hundred and seventeen point thirty thirty percent. the total number of impressions won by an ad exchange line item regardless of whether there was a competing line item so this is good and unfilled impressions are zero here unfilled competing impressions so that is good in one 
So these are all parameters, the basic parameters on which you, you can fetch your report accordingly for a period of 7 days, 30 days, 3 months, 6 months, 3 years, last week. This is as per your demand and you can put your filters as per your requirements and you can select any report on the basis of geography, inventory, mediation, native partner, platform, time unit. You can do that and uh, these all are values available here. So that's all for the first part of this reporting video. I will come with the second part of this video we will where we will discuss how invoiced impressions and billing work in Google Ad Manager and how this is reported under Google Ad Manager. Thank you very much for watching, watching this video. Hope you, you have learned something from it. Have a good day.